Good evening, <clears throat> and welcome to the cross multiplication method. Okay, so the cross multiplication method, we have the basic formula A over B will be proportionally equal to C over D. Okay, and the basis of the cross multiplication method is as it sounds you cross multiply A times D and B times C, okay? Once you cross multiply out, your result will be A times D will give you AD, which will be equal to BC, okay? So you wanna remember this method. So let's go over some examples. Okay, example number one. Let's say we have Two tenths is equal to a variable x over 100. Okay, so typically your instructions will say solve for x. So the first thing we want to do here is cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we'll have 2 multiplied by 100 is equal to 10 multiplied by x. Two times 100 gives us 200. Bring down the equal sign. 10 times x gives us 10x. Okay, so now we want to use the inverse operation. During the inverse operation, we have to do the opposite. 5 by 10, divide by 10 in order to isolate the variable x. So when we isolate the variable x, we have 10 divided by 10 equals 1, but we don't write 1x, we simply write x. And 200 divided by 10, which would be 20. And there's our answer, 20x. Okay, then we want to check the answer and make sure it's correct. So when we check the answer, we simply substitute. So we write our original formula. All right. And we substitute the answer. So 
when we substitute the answer, our answer was 20. So we'll have 2 over 10 is equal to 20 over 100. And in order to check this answer, we want to still cross multiply. Once we cross multiply, we have 2 multiplied by 100 will be equal to 10 multiplied by 20. 2 times 100 equals 200. Bring down our equal sign. 10 times 20 is 200. Therefore, this is a true statement. Let's go over another example. In this example, let's say we have the fraction three-fourths, okay, and we'll make that equal to 15 over x, because x won't always be in the numerator, okay. And typically, your instructions would read solve for x. Okay. So when we solve for x here, first thing we're going to do is cross multiply. Text message. When we cross multiply, we'll have 3 multiplied by x is equal to 4 multiplied by 15. 3 times x equals 3x, which is equal to 4 times 15, which is 60. Okay. Now we want to use our inverse operation. On the inverse operation, the opposite of multiplication is division. We're going to divide by 3 in order to isolate the variable x. Divide by 3 on both sides. Bring down our x is equal to 60 divided by 3 It's 20. Okay. Now we want to solve. So we rewrite our original, our original problem, and our original problem was 3 fourths is equal to 15 over x, and then when we substitute, we write in the answer, 3 fourths is equal to 15 over 20. And then we solve the same way using the same method. So we have to cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we'll take 3 times 20 is equal to 4 times 15. 3 times 20 gives us 60. 4 times 15 gives us 60. Therefore, this is a true statement, and we found the variable x equal to 20.
Thank you.